built in 1881. Richard Spencer with his uh, second wife, and they had three children. And he lived into the home in the house until 1910 when he died. He was about 90 when he died. And we also know that the wife then was deeded the home, and her mother must have come to live with her at some point. And her mother died in 1921. And in 1933, the son sold the property to a library association who then gave it to the town to become the library. So it officially became the, the library in the 19, well, 1933. And I think a little renovation was done, probably not too much. And it pretty much stayed this way. You can see the old porch and there was an old kind of social club in the back until 1995 when the new addition was put on, which is on this side of the library, and it kind of takes the place of the porch. So up on this level, we have the registrars have an office, the friends of the library have um, space up there where they sort books, and then there's some space for staff to do a few things, and then the attic is mainly, well, actually not even the attic. The upstairs is just used for storage. And we've had a lot of different experiences with people. One person at the desk over here was um, standing here and there was no one else in the building and she saw, felt a presence come whooshing down the, she could take him down, down the stairs and out and out towards the door. And she felt it was a female. And recently she was in this area when she heard noises on the other side of the building by the old stove of chattering and we also sue uh, who also works here at the library has had a few experiences where she was at the desk and something kind of whooshed by her and she's been upstairs and she's heard noises and and um, throat clearing and the other day we were leaving and we did hear some voices and no one was here at the time. And after the article that was in the Hartford Current, people that used to have some associated with the library were coming and saying, oh, you know, we felt things, we saw things. That's what Sue said a lot of times. People are, she feels they're watching her. She, she works in the back, back here, and she'll feel someone, wa you know, watching her from the door. And of course, there's no one. No one is here. We've had different mediums come in, and they felt that the presence of two females in the, right in this area, one 15, 16, and the other 50, 60. And they would always, they just felt them here in this area. Some mediums have felt presence down in the, um, in the old basement. Visions, and they saw things, and, doesn't seem to be, you know, they were talking about kind of weird things, so I, I don't know about their stories are, you know, more unsettling than anything that's ever happened. But this is the space that some of the mediums have felt and seen things. This is where they had the voices and they had the talking. The funny thing, the big EMF field down there coming from the pipes, there's a lot of wires that are running through the ground, so it's, you know, I hit a bunch of, as much as a 12 or 14 on the uh, milligals on the uh, EMF uh, field tester, so. Up here we have, this used to be in the 30s, they would actually, up until 95, they did have the library in this area. Now, one of the things that I have felt and heard is being down at the desk, and it's probably from this room, so much noise that we thought people were up here. So we actually, I myself have come up here to discover what, what's going on and never have found it. At some point, a group actually, um, well I think it's a family, rented up here for a little while. Probably in the 40s or the 50s. But here's where Sue's felt and heard things. She's been in the kitchen, the kitchen area here, and she has, heard noises out in the hall and no one has been there. When this was a home, there would there wasn't there was a bank, there was a bank over here. It was a spot smaller. There was a famous bank robbery in 1899 with um, XYZ was his name. Because I didn't ever know his name, his real name, and he was killed during the uh, robbery. 
robbery, shot and killed. And down the street at the cemetery, he's buried there. It just says X, Y, Z. And for a while, there was a woman that would come in. FSGH blanketed the library from top to bottom to try and validate these claims, but came across something completely different as the night went on. We used an experimental field tool called the Hackbox, which continuously scans AM FM frequencies. It is a theory that spirits can use the white noise from these frequencies to, to communicate with us. We conducted Hackbox sessions in the attic and in the basement. While asking direct questions, we got direct responses. The responses were clear and intelligent and a direct response to our questions. Even repeating what we asked to be said. Is all this coincidence? Well, we will let you be the judge. What's the group? FSGH, Full Spectrum Ghost Hunters. This is, this is the most recent case.